my dear viewers welcome to my youtube channel today i shall discuss about cooling system of a power transformer and its necessity before starting the video i have an appeal to you my dear viewers please subscribe to the channel if not done till now please also like and share the video more and more dear viewers we know a transformer is a static device which converts energy at one voltage level to another voltage level during the process of energy transfer losses occur in the winding and core this loss appears as heat the heat developed in the transformer is dissipated to the surroundings we know transformer needs cooling when load increases due to loss of energy in the form of heat during conversion of voltage and thereby feeding of load core and winding become heated this heat is taken by transformer insulating oil thus temperature of oil is increased so transformer oil is needed to reduce its excessive temperature by the support of cooling apparatus for maintaining suitable temperature to prevent any damage of insulation as a whole when temperature of the oil increases beyond its permissible limit cooling system or apparatus such as cooling fan oen af cooling pumps ofaf even watering and radiator bank started acting to reduce temperature to a suitable operating value for protection of the said transformer coolant used in transformers are two types a air b oil the transformer using air as the coolant are called dry type transformer transformer which use oil as the coolant are called oil immersed transformer in dry type transformers generated heat is conducted across the core and windings to be dissipated from the outer surface of windings to the surrounding air through convection in the case of oil immersed transformer generated heat is taken and transferred by the oil to the walls of the tank through convection finally the heat is transferred from the tank walls to surrounding air by radiation and convection method of cooling of transformer cooling mediums circulations during transformation of voltage hot oil circulates toward upper of the tank and losing some heat there to the surrounding air near tank wall relatively cool oil goes downward as a result circulation of hot and cold oil is going on naturally hot and cold oil circulation naturally occurred then the process is termed as oil natural oen when radiator bank is used circulation of such oil is done through radiator bank the bank is made of a groups of thin small tanks or tube naturally some heat radiated in the air through the cooling tubes or fins then the process is called oen an oil natural air natural to accelerate the process of cooling fans are used to cool the fins oil and push the hot air 
from pinswal is termed as ONAF oil natural air force pump draws the hot oil from upper portion of the tank and pushes the relatively cool oil into the tank from bottom to increase circulation of oil is termed as ap wap air force oil force some large transformers are incorporated with the water cooling system where cold water is spread over the radiator the process is known as wf wf oil force water force generally these types of cooling system are employed to cool the transformer oil thank you for watching this video